Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how you can install Metapipe 1.2 updates. I will demonstrate it from the beginning to the end and hopefully there will be no issues if you follow these guides exactly the same. So I typed Epic Games DNA Calibration and I clicked on the first one and you can also find the links from ArtStation product page. Let's click on this and as you can see it is 1.1.0 version. Uh, if it's updated in the future you can find the versions from here. The site releases 1.1 and you can find 1.3 assets. You can download the source code as zip. But in this case we will use 1.1.0 zero even if you are using Maya 2022 or Maya 2023. Metapipe now uses this version and we will download this one inside here code and download as zip and it's downloaded for me it is in here and come back to your C drive copy this file and paste it to C drive and then right click extract it in here and it's extracted i will delete it so i rename this file path to dna calibration you should rename it exactly like this and select it yeah inside it we can see our files so go back here now we are ready to go to the next step and go to the downloaded files that i gave you for the metapipe 1.2 and in here we will do really simple step Go to your text field, write in CMD, which will bring us our command panel. In here, because we typed in here, it gave us our path already. So we don't need to write any paths. And in here, I will type in Python metapipe.ui and press enter. And a pop-up window comes out. It asks for body mesh, size, type, and gender. And also your Maya version as 2023 or 2022. For me, uh, my body is male. And for the size, you can select drop down menu. For the size, it is medium. And for the type, NRV. So Maya version will be 2023 for myself. Just click on next. And first, select your root directory for DNA calibration path, which is we downloaded it just a minute ago, C drive and select your DNA calibration folder and be sure that every folder inside it, select your DNA calibration folder and click on next. And now we need to set our DNA paths, which is for me, it is inside documents, Megascans library, downloaded, DHI, this one, 8K, assets, metahumans, Amelia, and source assets inside it. I have Amelia DNA, or you can choose whatever you want. Tundra, Amelia, Rose, I don't know. Select the DNA, press OK. You can close now this one, and so I will close this as well. And one last step for the installation. This embedded RL4 file is important, and if it is not seen by Maya, you cannot use Metapipe. So go to your documents, Megascans library, support plugins, Maya 7.1, live link, DHI plugins, Windows 2023, and inside it, find this file. This file comes from Quixel Bridge, and if you didn't install it, you should before the installation. And just copy this file, go back to your MS Live Link for folder previously. Inside it, documents, Megascans library, support plugins, Maya 7.1 MS Live Link inside it. I will make a new folder and I will rename it as plug ends. And the naming is very important. Uh, as you can see, it should exactly same naming. Open it up, paste it here, and you are done with the installation. So let's go to prepare our files. I opened Pixel Bridge and I signed in. As in here, I will find my metahumans in the local space and it is this guy i will use this guy and you can set the resolution whatever you want go to export settings inside export settings you should set this as u assets plus source assets and tick all of this and that's it you can download and then 
export, this scene pops up and I wrote an automatic code that prepares body file automatically. So let's show you. Because we did installation, we can now call our functions inside C RSNSPAS scripts and we can import our functions. I will give this code inside readme file and basically you will copy this and paste it like this and run this code and go to your DNA calibration paths inside data. It will be inside your DNA calibrations data folder. So I will write here body DRV and the naming also important. It should be exactly like this body underscore DRV and then click on save and it will save your scene also doing all of the job. At the end, it should look like this because of the lights and you can turn off the lights. If it's okay, we will go to new scene, don't save, and we will prepare our button inside shelf editor and just click on this and create a shelf, rename it as metapipe or arts and spells you want, and then in here create a script and call it metapipe 1.2 and copy this, paste it, and then browse for icon. There's icons. And you can select MetaPipe logo for open and here it comes. Inside it, right click, edit and select Python tab. I will again copy paste this code, which is a different code from the previous one. I will put this code into readme file as well. You will copy this and paste it to your shelf editor exactly like this and paste it and save all shells. Now let's test it if it's working or not and yeah it is in here hopefully it will help you and good luck with your installations and bye